Are you looking to get more sales online? Well, social validation is one of those areas that can really help sell you or your business. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the recent update to Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor and the ability now to pull in Google reviews alongside Yelp reviews. So this interests you? Let me take you through how you can do all of this right now. Using the example on screen, this shows you the kind of thing you can create. You can see we've got some nice, simple business reviews. We scroll down, we've got various different skins that we can pick and choose from, and we can create some nice looking designs. So I'm going to use that as a basis for how we actually go about creating it inside our design. So let's hop over into the dashboard of WordPress. And as you can see, I've got my page open inside Elementor and the ultimate add-ons already installed. So this is the area that I want to insert this social validation under the client feedback area. So if we take a look on the left hand side, you can see you've got ultimate add-ons. If I scroll down towards the bottom, you can see we now have business reviews, the new widget that's been added to this latest version. Let's drag and drop that into the relevant location on our page and you can see it automatically pulls in some information, the same information you saw on the test page on ultimate add-ons. Now this is just pre-filled information, but what you can do is you can link it through to your Google Places ID. That will then associate it with your specific feedback. Now, if you're unsure how to go about finding the Google Places ID for your specific business, then it's easy to do. All you need to do is go to the left hand side and you've got an option that says click here to find the Google Place ID. We click on that, that'll open up a new window and show you exactly how to go about finding that relevant ID specific to the business or location that you're looking for. So once you've done that, you insert that into this Google Places ID, or if you want to associate that across the entire site, you can simply use the option that says insert your API key. If you click and open that up, you can see that'll take us through to the settings for ultimate add-ons for Elementor, and then you can drop in your specific key inside there. So all easy. Now, once you've done that, there are a couple of things we can do. If we want to, we can use this and insert it directly into the page, or we can use the dynamic option. Now, I'm always happy to see a dynamic option for pretty much any information, because it means if you associate this with something like advanced custom fields, jet engine, tool set, and so on, it allows you to create more advanced websites, and then you can utilize these different widgets to pull in the information from your custom post types. So I always like to see a dynamic option wherever possible. So once we've done that, we've then got a couple of options under the general section. We've got the skin or the style that we want to use. So at the moment it's set to default and currently we have three different options, default, card and bubble. If we choose card, for example, you can see it now displays it as a card option. Alternatively, if we choose bubble, it'll create speech bubbles and show us a nice simple layout. Now I'm going to use the speech bubbles for this example because I quite like that look. We've then got the review source. You can see it says Google Places. We can also use Yelp we can use Google and Yelp. So if you are choosing Yelp as your option or you want to combine both of those, you can do that easily from just choosing the relevant sources that you want. Again, that will link it through to the relevant IDs and this, you can associate that with the actual reviews that are being posted. Okay, so there's the basics. We've also got the option then to how often do we want to reload the reviews. So depending upon how often you think you may get reviews, you can set this to hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. So if you get regular reviews, you may want to set this to hourly or daily. If you're pretty sporadic, then you can set it to monthly or weekly or something like that. So choose the option that associates with your particular business and the amount of reviews you think you're going to get. So next up, we have the layout and we can come in and we can start to fine tune the look and the feel of our feedback layout. Again, you can see we have the option for choosing the layout. We currently have grid or we can use a carousel. If we choose carousel, it opens up a range of different options, and this will then allow us to display more of our feedback, and then we can let the user see X number of actual feedback, and then they can scroll through, or we can have it automatically scroll through, or we can use a combination of both, navigation and automatic. So you can set whatever settings you want on there. We also have the option then for equal height, which is always, again, good to see. Filters, we can come in and say, well, how do we want to filter this information? Now, currently it says filter by rating, and we can click on there. It says no filter, rating, or review date. So we can filter these out. So let's just say we didn't want to show any low reviews. We only wanted to show four stars and above. Well, we can say minimum rating, choose that, and we'll say four stars. That will then show four and five star ratings. Anything below that won't be displayed, which obviously it depends how you want to display the information and how transparent you want to be when you post reviews as part of your service, site, or product. With those covered, then we have some additional options. Things like reviewer info, we can go through, we can choose do we want to have an image, the reviewer image, the size of it, the name, and so on, which is pretty cool. So if you want to, you can style that out. The review date, again, you can choose whether you want to display or hide the review date. 
Obviously, if it's one of those things that is regularly updated, it's worthwhile putting those on there. However, if it's pretty sporadic, it might be something you consider not bothering too much about. But again, we can go through, we can choose. We want to set this relative or we want to set it to a numeric date so we can just have the full date in there. We can style it. We can do all those kinds of things you'd expect to see. So pretty cool to see that. Then we have the rating. So you can see we can choose to display the star rating if there's an option, or we can just have it as the feedback from the individual or company. We can also go through, we can choose to use a star icon based upon the custom, or we can use a default option, the icon size. So we can adjust these kinds of things. We can do whatever we want on it to get, make sure it all styles in exactly how we want with our particular design. The review text, we've got that option there as well, how long we want that to be, if there's a click for a read more and so on. We also have schema support. So if you're using the schema option inside uh, Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor, you can link this through and you can have that set up. Now, if you don't know about the SEO benefits and how to use schema, I'd recommend taking a look at the article on it. That'll give you some information. So that's the basics on how we can choose what is displayed. As always, we've got the option then to go through and we can style everything. So we can choose to style the box, so we can change the color on that if we want to, to white, dark gray, whatever we kind of want to set it to, to make sure it sits perfectly with the design that we're working with. Border radius, all the kinds of things you'd expect to see. We could even go through there and just choose to style the navigation. So depending upon the navigation option you chose, whether you chose arrows, dots, or both, you can style those to make sure everything is consistent. So at the moment, our dots look a little bit lost. So what we could do is we could change the dot color on there to white. That now makes it stand out of the darker background. The typography, we want to come in and change that for the name of the reviewer and so on. So let's just say for the reviewer's name, we'll change that. And we'll say we want to set that to be a thinner font, something a little bit like so. There we go, so we can just adjust that. And then you can go through and you can adjust all the different settings that you want on this particular widget. So all in all, this new addition to the Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor is great if you have a business and like I say, you want to display the ratings and feedback to get social validation for what you're offering. As always, if you want to get more from WordPress, consider clicking on the links you can see on the right-hand side right now. They'll get you up to speed with getting more out of WordPress. As always, I'd love to get your feedback on this video and everything we cover on the channel, so please pop those in the comment section below. Let's get that conversation started. All applicable links are in the description, so you can click and check out more from there. And as always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.